Um, back before um, the end of the summer, I had a, a good clear out of the shed and I found this monstrosity tucked at the back of a shelf. Um, I made this thing, uh, must be going on 10 years ago now at least, um, on the idea that I could make a puzzle box of boxes. Now, that's what I made, but it is ugly and really unwieldy. Um, it's covered in little paper dots and plastic and it was a great idea at the time but by the time I'd finished it I was utterly bored and disappointed with it. So, so the idea was to have a box filled with other boxes and each of these is a drawer. Oop. Other way around. So this is all paper and card which is what I was using at the time really. Um, the idea was good because I'd, ma I'd made a um, a small stacking cube using the same um, pattern and I thought oh, I can make it bigger and this is what came out and I've never used it <laughs> it's been st at the back of the shelf in my bedroom and then it migrated down here when um, the shed was built and it stayed on a shelf again so yeah I think I want to make a new one and make it in Right, so I'm going through my boxes and I've just taken the patterns off the outside and I've marked arrows directing me down to the base so it should therefore be easier to get this back together again. So I'm just going to kind of explode it outwards like this, keeping the pieces pretty much in place. Now, I don't yet know what, what I'm going to do on the inside of these, so just for now I'm just going to run them over some sandpaper just to take the rough edge off. Right, so I've got that done. So make sure these are facing the right direction. start by just going on the tabs. Being fairly generous, I'm not concerned about any kind of squeeze out here. In fact I think squeeze out might be a benefit. 
might have a benefit in that everything's going to stick in a little bit better. side first I think. So again I'm only doing each box individually because I kind of made them to fit each other so trying them trying to sand them all and then fit them all is going to be very difficult so doing it this way makes it slightly easier and I'm going to use the lid just to hold things together all my boxes are glued. I'm just going to tease out the lid just to make sure that's loose and not stuck in and then I'm going to start sanding. So initially I'm going to get all the joints flat and then I'm just going to um, ease over the corners just a bit just to give it a, a neater edge. Now my small smallest one is fairly neat, doesn't need much in the way of trimming but I got a little lazy as I got along to the larger ones so there's a lot of trimming on some of these and not so much on others so bad practice really but I didn't want to leave the um, the joints too short in case they were too short in the in the final pieces so bad practice but oh never mind so I've got my mask a pair of it, um, earplugs and I've got a can of drinks sitting next to me as and when required so this is a um, 60 grit on here which should be plenty to do these just for the initial kind of shaping so I'm going to get on with that and I think I'll switch to time lapse. Now I'm working on the the lid. Now if you just lift it up you can see where it's catching on the right hand side of these teeth. So I'm just going to mark that corner. I just really want to take off a small angle. I don't know how well it's going to come out on camera. It's taking off a very small angle just here on that side and then on this side as well. I don't want it to be too large because then it will look wrong and it will be too gappy. So I hope that just doing that should make it slightly easier to open. Um, I did this off camera but I don't think you really needed to see. I've um, painted the um, inside of the, the joints and the inside edge with a little bit of copper, uh, just in acrylic. Um, I'm going to line these in the end so I don't need to go any further down but I just wanted to cover those edges that will be visible at least. So Now I'm going to put a bit of wax on before I do any um, varnishing. But what I want to do is just mask off where I'm going to put the hinges. Now I'm slightly undecided whether or not to use um, some leather on these instead of actually putting a full hinge on. Ooh. But I think whatever I choose I'm going to have to do something to stop the, um, the wax causing the resist, causing the glue to not hold so these have become quite tight because of the, the paint which I think is actually a good thing on these so I'm just going to use a wee bit of masking tape just to cover kind of the top or the back kind of so I've glued on the leather hinge and put in a couple of pins these are just slightly long so I've just nip the tips off them before I hammer them in just so they won't poke through. So they all now sit and close quite neatly and I just, where a couple of them are a little bit sticky I just sanded a little bit of the edge off just to help that and the paint kind of helps seal in some of the splinters and things so these are all nice and smooth. Now I've given them um, 
another coat of wax and I'm debating whether or not to actually put varnish on. I might still put varnish on but haven't quite decided yet. So I'm now moving on to the lining which I can at least get prepared even if I'm not going to put it in yet. So what I'm going to do is I would, I would normally do the whole thing in felt but I don't think I want to do that with this. Instead I'm going to use um, some brown or purple felt on the lid and the bottom just to give it some sort of protection to whatever's in the boxes and then I'm going to use some of these this is um, printed music and I like this as a as a lining because it's got a quite a bit of interest in there as well so I'm going to wrap that around the insides so that's the next job and I'm going to get these at least prepared before I move on to any final finishing I'm going to do so they should be, at least the small ones, a four uh, centimetre square. These should be nine by four, and the large ones should be um, nine by nine by four. So hopefully I should be able to do these fairly quickly. So after some, some work, I've put together my boxes here. Um, they've all got a leather hinge, which I've just pinned in place. It doesn't really need it, but that just looks better, I think. And they've all got a felt lining top and bottom with um, music paper around the inside. Oh, that's going to come out. They've got music paper around the inside, just to give it some interest, really. I could have attempted to make a hinge using the the wood but I'm not entirely sure that this would have stood up to so having a pin through it and then hinging like that because it's quite thin when it gets to the joint so probably not for this stuff so I've made five of my 10 by 10 by fives three 10 by 5 by 5 and one 5 by 5 cube now they're all made up into boxes and they're all decorated and, and lined in the same way. Um, my original one, I, I just had the, the square shoved into a corner. But this is kind of the key point for how you put this, this puzzle together. So you must start with the square in a corner and then the flat one next to it and that gives you a shape to be going on with. So then you want a thin one here and another one of those there. I, didn't think about this but I have actually um, put the lids on the right way around so that you get ones that are tall that will fit in the tall spaces and ones that are flat that will stay in the flat, flat spaces so I didn't intend to do that but it seems to have happened so you just kind of work on a spiral pattern going around the shape the only ones I didn't think about were the, the, these, but I didn't think that opening on the end would be very good with these. So I'm almost there. That, that, and that. So, if my measurements are right, this should be around 15 centimetres square. It's not going to be exact because the um, leather adds a bit of movement to it, but as long as I'm less than 16 <laughs> that should be about right so that's good that's good that was good check the middle as well so yeah I'm 15 pretty much 
all the way around, just a slight high point here, which even if I hold it flat is only one millimetre over 15, so I'm very happy with that. So now I need to work on the box that these go into. Now I don't just want to do a simple box, I want to do something a bit challenging and I think I think I'm going to do a combination lock. So that seems to be interesting to me right now. I've seen a couple of videos, so you're going to have to wait till the end of the month to see that one. That'll be my last project of February. So this is part one finished. I've still got to um, put a last bit of finish on the boxes. I'm going to give them another coat of wax and then a couple of coats of varnish, and that'll bring out the colour really nicely and that will match in with the leather. So, yeah. That's Puzzle Box of Boxes, part one, complete.